good to see everybody here tonight. I'm, I've been doing local comedy for a little over 13 years now. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of you have probably not heard see me on doing comedy before, so I just wanted to tell you a few things about myself. First off, I do not have any kids in my basement crawl space. I always need to clear that part up. I mean, I've heard people call me creepy quite a few times, and I don't, I don't like the use of that word. I prefer to think of myself as a people-watching enthusiast. For some people, the camera adds 10 pounds. Apparently, for me, it adds a trench coat, a rifle, and an ice cream truck. That's what I'm feeling. I remember one time someone compared me to Jeffrey Dahmer, which I think is wrong. We have completely different eating habits. I like all the usual junk food, pizza, burgers, hot tacos. Jeffrey Dahmer was, you know, more of a people person. Of course, uh, like everyone here, I'm, I'm a big wrestling fan, but... That's not really something you bring up in your first conversation with someone, is it? It's not something you put at the top of your Tinder profile. I mean, telling someone you watch a lot of wrestling has the same sort of stigma as telling someone you watch a lot of porn. Because either way, someone is going to take a look at what you're watching and they're going to say, Come on, no one gets that big naturally. the market these days. That's right, recall due to low demand. That's where I'm at. <laughs> I try to get out and meet people. I remember going to a nightclub one time. Everyone there was socializing and having a good time. I was trying to beat the high score on the Pac-Man machine, which is a joke. Of course, I beat the high score. But I did get to talking to a woman there. She was a raver chick. She had this big colorful wig and these huge furry boots, and I didn't get the appeal of that at the time. I mean, I know it works for me. I've done a lot of internet research on that topic. All I'm saying is, Slutty Muppet was not what I was looking for that night. Given the opportunity, I am not so sure I would go down in Fraggle Rock. That's all I'm saying. I think you know why, too. Cottonmouth. <laughs> A lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, even in my own neighborhood. One of my neighbors told me that a coyote had been seen in the woods near my house. I should have known there was a coyote in the area because I was getting all these packages from Anthony that I hadn't ordered. I was watching the news not too long ago and there was a story on there about kidnapping, which I didn't do, by the way. I'll have to clear that up. But the news crawler caught my eye because it said the kidnapper had a crush on the teenage girl he abducted. And all I could think was, yeah, that's how kidnapping works. You don't become a kidnapper by being someone who's willing to settle. No kidnapper's thought process has ever involved the phrase, you'll do. I'll tell you about the craziest news story I ever saw, though. It was about a restaurant in Russia that had as their main attraction a live bear in a cage. Nothing could go wrong there. Sure enough, a woman decided to try to reach into the cage to pet the bear, and the bear ripped her arm off. That is a terrible story. But when I thought about it, I realized that in Russia, bears have the right to your arms. Can you imagine if that would have happened here in America? That woman probably would have tried to sue the restaurant. I think that would have been a pretty quick case, though. Your Honor, the defense calls Charles Darwin to the stand. I think we can prove this woman's level of intelligence single-handedly. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, wrap things up here in just a little bit. Uh, got the holidays coming up, but there's a lot of holidays I don't understand. Valentine's Day, I just referred to that by its initials, VD. Because both kinds of BD are red, irritating, and expensive. But Valentine's Day is one type of BD that goes away if you just ignore it for 24 hours. I'm from Belleville, Illinois. That's about the reaction that deserves. But Belleville has a nickname. Denny, if you know what it is? It's Bell Vegas. And that makes no sense at all. Belleville lost 
babies have pretty much nothing in common, except that if they spend enough time in either place, you end up broke and depressed. What happens in Bell Vegas stays in Bell Vegas because it can't afford to go anywhere else. All right. I've been doing this comedy thing for a little while. I don't have any t-shirts or CDs for sale after the show. But my mom's really big into gardening, so I've got some zucchini I'm trying to unload outside if anyone's interested. That's it for me. I'm Patrick. Thank you, everybody. Patrick Brandmeier, everybody.